What is it like living in Greenland? Greenland is likely to evoke mental pictures of polar bears, icebergs, the northern lights and Inuit culture and lifestyle. We think you'll appreciate this northern gem as much as we do. People's perceptions of Greenland are often incorrect and we hope this video may dispel some of those myths. How about we get going? Everyday food Greenlanders often eat a lot of canned goods as well as canned fish, potatoes and vegetables. Many Inuit tribes also rely heavily on seal and polar bear meat. Incredible dining options can be found all around the western coast of Greenland. While that may be true, it is not well known. Greenlandic delicacies are often reserved for the most discerning of diners, unless you happen to be Inuit, leading many to get a false idea of the cuisine outside of Greenland. An infinite supply of sunlight Learn what it's like to have sunshine on your face for all 24 hours of the day. Just picture yourself seeing the sun set, it does not truly set, and then rising again an hour later. Greenland's summers are non-stop celebrations. What it's like to live in Greenland and learn about its culture and music. The Greenlandic people have always placed a high value on the arts, both historically and now. With such a small population, Greenland is home to a surprisingly robust music culture, with several performers garnering worldwide acclaim. Greenlandic literature began with the oral transmission of Greenland's rich oral tradition of myths and stories. Many of these have been memorialized in print and are readily available at this time. While Greenlanders have a long history of performing for one another, it wasn't until 1984 that a professional theatre company was founded, and it wasn't until 2011 that the country's first theatre school opened. Greenland is home to a rich history of craftsmanship. Greenlanders traditionally wear colourful woolen knitwear, anoraks, and handcrafted boots, kamiks. Fur and sealskins have been vital to Greenlanders' survival in the north for centuries, but in recent years, Greenlandic design has exploded, reaching new levels of creativity by fusing worldwide and Greenlandic fashions with the inventive use of fur and skin goods. Fundamental Economic Principles The standard of living and unemployment in Greenland are on par with those in mainland Europe, officially about 10% in the mid-1990s, with the public sector accounting for almost two-thirds of all jobs. While its GDP is more than $1 billion each year, the Danish government provides almost half of its budgetary support. The Greenlandic economy experienced a downturn in the late 1980s and early 1990s. Recent years have had budget surpluses and low inflation, but there is rising concern that overfishing may soon cause severe fisheries depletion. Small remote Inuit communities in northern and eastern Greenland rely heavily on subsistence hunting for food and clothing, mainly polar bear and seal furs. Some Inuit communities have also profited from the International Whaling Commission's, the IWC, recent decision to offer Greenland special authority to participate in limited Aboriginal subsistence whaling. Literature, music, art and all other humanities topics. Help for the creative sector. Greenland's artistic and literary communities get some funding from the government since the Greenlandic and Danish governments recognize the value of the arts in attracting tourists. However, the Inuit community's robust creative history is by far the most important factor in the ongoing survival of Greenlandic arts. Literature Inuit mythologies and moral codes, as well as the connection between the Inuit and the animals, seal, bear, walrus, whale, fox, etc., on which they depended for existence, have long been central to Greenland's rich oral storytelling heritage, stories and songs. The most accomplished exponents of this art form are still held in high regard in Greenlandic society. While the tradition of writing and reading is still developing in Greenland, it is becoming more and more widespread. Creativity and Arts When it comes to indigenous graphic arts, Greenland has a prominent position. Authentic Inuit garb is known for its elaborate handiwork, use of time-honored materials and bright colors. Small carved figurines of mythical beings and arctic animals called Tupilak are another area of expertise for Inuit artists, dating back to the island's pre-Christian history. Theatrical Productions The traditional Inuit way of life, including hunting and fishing, is a common theme in Greenlandic performance art. 
On the other hand, Greenland is home to a thriving contemporary performance art scene, complete with pop music bands, cutting-edge dance companies and more. A trip over the ice is like going back in time. A rainbow of hues may be seen in the ice. White may be present at times. It's blue sometimes, like crystal at times. There are moments when all you can do is gaze and think, that can't be right. The age of the ice is even more incredible. We're not talking about water that has been frozen for a few decades. This is water that has remained solid for over a hundred thousand years. In the event that a large chunk of an iceberg drifts ashore, you may walk up to it and give it a hug, touching it and feeling its icy breath on your skin. Real estate and possession of land. When it comes to food, shelter and other necessities, it's essential for Inuit communities to work together. In fact, Inuit families that have no more than the average amount of wealth in their society often give away their extra possessions to others who are less fortunate. Private property rights are more strongly upheld in non-subsidence settlements like the capital city of Nuuk, where European elements are more prominent. The purest air throughout the planet. The air is so incredibly pure and frigid up here. The winters are so long, six or seven months, because there is always snow and the temperature stays below freezing. The snow and ice really make it brighter than usual in Greenland throughout the winter when everyone else imagines it to be pitch black. Whereas it becomes really black in Denmark, Germany or Spain as night falls, up here in the Arctic everything sparkles and shines thanks to the ice and snow. The northern lights dance over the darkness of space like a thin glittering veil of purple and green mist in the wee hours of the morning. It's like the Earth's spirit is twirling with the last gasp of the sun's withering light. Road infrastructure in Greenland There aren't any roads or railways connecting the many communities throughout the 2.16 million square kilometers of area. The town's internal roadways peter out at the city limits. Any distance more than a few miles between settlements requires the use of an aircraft, boat, helicopter, snowmobiling or dog sledding. In the summer, you may often see folks out on the fjords, since kayaks are unquestionably the most common method of transportation. Most important businesses Greenland's economy relies primarily on fishing and allied businesses, and the country has earned a reputation abroad for vigorously defending its fishing rights in ongoing battles with Canada and the European Union. Once a dominant species, cod has seen its fish populations collapse due to overfishing. Agriculture, sheep, veggies and mining are other significant sectors of the economy. Greenland's isolated location and brief seasons are barriers to tourism, although the sector is growing in importance. Trade Greenland relies heavily on Denmark as a supplier of both manufacturing and consumer products. More than 95% of Greenland's exports are fish and fish products. Danish, Japanese, Norwegian, American and British businesses are among the country's most important commercial partners. Security Greenlanders are really kind and polite people. The safety and calm in the nation are proof of this. It is probable that you will be able to remain here undisturbed for the whole of your study time. You shouldn't even think twice about enrolling in classes here. The nation is as wonderful as its reputation. Division of Labour Subsistence hunting and fishing are important activities for many Greenlandic people. In Greenland, the fishing sector is the main source of income for both men and women. Space planning, building design and urban development The vast majority of Greenlandic buildings are strictly functional. Structures, both man-made and natural, are designed with utility in mind rather than aesthetics. Greenlandic houses may be made of wood, stone or sod. Some communities require their summer residents to live in fur or skin tents. Because, as Gretel Ehrlich observed in National Geographic Adventure, Eskimo culture views being alone as a symptom of depression. People see it as a perversion and a terrible thing to do. Pharmaceuticals and medical care all citizens of Greenland have access to the Danish government-funded, universally free healthcare system. However, the breadth of this treatment is extremely restricted in most of Greenland's tiny, widely separated villages. Located in the capital city of Nuuk, Queen Ingrid's hospital is Greenland's main medical facility. 
Despite being one of the world's largest regions, very little is known about Greenland. Greenland's natural environment and the island's distinctive geographical features provide the basis for much of Greenland's culture and way of life. Living in Greenland becomes an even more appealing possibility in light of this information. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and turn on the notification bell. This is Learning Canteen.